Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my June favorites, so all the products I've been loving in June. Some of these I've been using and loving for longer, so I guess it could kind of be like my current favorites. I just figured June favorites would be the easiest and I have been loving these products this month, so if you want to see what my June favorites are, then we're going to jump right into it. Favorite number one is coffee. As usual. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the makeup items that I have here and then I'm going to kind of end it with a couple of other random things that I have to share with you guys. I don't have a ton of products to share with you guys today, but I figured that's okay. Um, I'll just talk about the ones that I'm loving anyways. The first thing I have to talk about is a powder and this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. This is the translucent one. This powder is super affordable and that's part of why I love it so much. I just think it's a really good quality powder for a really good price. I tend to gravitate more towards pressed powders just because I feel like a loose powder is a a lot more messy. I will sometimes fiddle with them, but for the most part, I just don't really like to take the time to use a loose powder when I could use a pressed powder. So yeah, I really like this one. I don't really have too much to say about it because it's just a translucent powder. It's pretty basic, but I feel like it sets the makeup really nicely without causing it to crease or look really powdery. You guys know I love my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores pressed powder. And if I'm being honest, I've actually been gravitating a little bit more towards this one lately. I find that it does a really good job of setting my makeup. It does not leave any kind of white cast at all, which I love. It is is what it says stay matte but I don't find it too dry or anything like that either because I don't like too much powder these days I like to have a little bit more of a dewy finish to my skin and I don't find that this is too drying at all so I really appreciate that and yeah if you're looking for a good affordable translucent pressed powder this is a good one and I just thought I would mention it so the next product is something I've been obsessed with for like a couple months. I literally haven't done my makeup without it this past month, so I definitely had to mention this. This is the Physicians Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. The way that I really love to use this is mixing just like a pump or two into my foundation of choice. Usually I will mix it into like my BB cream, that's what I use the most, but I do really like to mix this in to like any regular foundation to give it a glow, sheer it out a little bit. I just feel like it really ups that finish and makes it look like so much better. I don't find that it's like intensely dewy, but I do find this is a good in between like it adds a nice glow but it's not overly like wet so if you're someone who's kind of wanting to step into the world of like more glowy base products I would definitely try this out I think it's like $11 at Walmart which is a really good deal I find this to be really beautiful mixed in with foundations I really really love this really been enjoying it I'm going to keep moving right along that line of glowy products. This is the e.l.f. Liquid Highlighter in Illuminating. I've never been able to figure out this shade. It just says Illuminating on the cap, so I'm assuming that's like the shade name or whatever. This is super affordable. I want to say it's in their like $2 kind of line of makeup. I was not expecting this to be as gorgeous as it is. I expected it to be maybe a little bit more chunky. Often, like, the drugstore is not really quite sure how to do liquid or cream-based highlighters, but this really pleasantly surprised me. I was really impressed. It's not going to be like glittery or shimmery. Like to me it just looks like a glow, like a wet dewy sheen on your skin. For me like when I want to use a liquid highlighter, I want to use a liquid highlighter. I want it to look really dewy on my skin. I don't want it to just kind of set and look like a powder product. So for me this is awesome. If you like something like that and you just kind of want to switch it up every now and then and do like a really dewy glowy highlight. This is like the perfect thing. I think this is really freaking gorgeous for summer. For the price, you pretty much can't beat this. I would definitely try it out if you're looking for more cream or liquid based glowy products. I have one more kind of like base product to share with you guys. And this is the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. This is technically, I guess, supposed to be used as a primer. That's how I use it underneath my makeup because, I mean, it's like a stick form balm. Anyway, the reason that I love this primer is because of the kind of almost like sticky base that it gives to my skin. I know that sounds weird if you don't like that. You probably won't like this. For me, I personally really like that because the makeup is really going to adhere to your skin. It's not going to like slide around, you know, versus if you were to use like an oil-based primer, which I'm not against that at all. I love that kind of primer. This is just really going to keep your makeup kind of sticking to your skin. Kind of like the Nivea Men's Post Shade Balm. I know a lot of people used to use that as primer. I still love it personally. I love how it gives that kind of tacky base and I feel like this kind of does the same thing. Really affordable as well so if you like that kind of sticky tacky base for your makeup then I think you would really enjoy this. Okay the next thing I want to talk about is actually a pair of eyelashes. These are the Christina WSP 
lashes in black. You can get six packs of these on Amazon for $10 which is crazy. That's so affordable for lashes, like less than $2 a pair, that's really cheap. But yeah, these are the Chris Christina WSP lashes. So just search Christina lashes on Amazon and they should come right up. These lashes are pretty long, so they're a little bit more intense in that sense. But for me, these are some of the more natural lashes I've tried, just because they're not like thick. Whenever I try lashes that have like a thick band or they have like a really just like thick full lashes, it doesn't look real. There's so much there. It's so thick and full on your lash line. And I just find that these blend so beautifully with your lashes and they don't look ridiculously like fake. Like you can definitely see your lashes look really long, but they don't look like fake Fake. I just think they look so gorgeous. I honestly think these are like my favorite lashes of all time. You can wear them for any type of occasion. If you wear lashes at all, go buy these on Amazon and you won't regret it. Now I just want to share a couple of lip products with you guys. I just have two here to talk about. This first one I'm just going to go over really quickly because I did mention it like two videos back. This is Revlon's Pink in the Afternoon. Really freaking gorgeous, nudie, pinky, corally um, type of lipstick. And apparently, uh, according to the internet, this is the lipstick that Audrey Hepburn wore in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Don't quote me on that because I don't know for positive. That's just what I've been reading on the internet and that's kind of why I bought it. I love it regardless of whether or not she wore it in that movie. I don't know. I just, I want to wear all the time so yeah um this is a really really pretty color if you want like a nude but something with a little bit of extra like boost to it like just a little bit more than just like a nude yeah this is really pretty this is just the color pop ultra satin lip in point zero this is the one in collaboration with kathleen lights this is like one of the more like unique different lipsticks i have in my collection it's like like a brownie taupey shade. It's pretty much like a taupe lipstick. It is one of those lipsticks that's a little bit more like out of the box, but it's so worth it. Like it's not unwearable. I feel like this is definitely wearable. It's really gorgeous with like some light makeup and just this. I, I don't know. I just, I feel like it's one of those really cool different lipsticks that like a normal girl can still wear. You know what I mean? Like it's not like crazy and bizarre and whatever, you know? Okay, so that kind of wraps up like the makeup portion of this video. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is a nail polish. This is one of the KL polishes by Kathleen Lights, um, the brand that she started. This is actually one of their fall shades that they came out with last year. Yeah, this last year, the fall line, this is one of those shades. But I feel like you could wear this, you know, kind of all year round. It's one of those polishes. It's just like this really cool, like dusty blue. Um, I forgot to mention this is in the shade cozy in there with a question mark cozy in there like it's a reference to the walking dead maybe you'll know kind of what it means if you've seen that show but yeah this is like a really cool like dusty blue as far as nail polish goes i don't have anything like this this is so cool and so different and i find it to be one of those shades that you can just wear all year round i really think this is like a really cool dusty blue shade and i wore it in a couple videos ago i think it was and yeah i just think it's really beautiful all right so the next product is something that i've been using for a couple weeks now and this is the jurgens natural glow wet skin moisturizer this is kind of like the in shower tanning lotion kind of thing this is the medium to dark one just because they only had one other one it was like the light to medium and like it didn't look like it would do anything for my skin so i got the medium to dark i've heard some things about like jurgens products before like their gradual moisturizer i actually think i used one in like middle school probably when i was like 12 or 13 I used one of like the Jurgen's gradual tanning moisturizer things. I had no idea how to use it. I used way too much. I don't know what was wrong with it, but it was like orange and like my legs looked orange. It was bad. I've been like hesitant to try it since then. Like any kind of like gradual tanners, but especially Jurgen's just because of my experience until I heard of the wet skin moisturizer. And I heard people talking about the regular Jurgen's wet skin moisturizer, like the one that doesn't have any color to it. It's just completely like a moisturizer that you use after you shower while your skin is still wet. So when I saw this, I thought, wow, that seems like it would be really nice. I looked up some reviews and people were saying it's super natural. It builds very gradually. It looks like a natural tan. And you know, I've been using it consistently. Like after I shower, I'll just put it on my skin. You can't even really tell that I'm wearing anything. But when I don't, when I'm not wearing this at all, my skin is actually paler than this. It's not much, but that's why I like this. I feel like it's 
super subtle and like I like how it makes my skin look after I use it. I just look hydrated and like kind of dewy and I, I don't know. I really enjoy this. It doesn't transfer to like your clothes or your towel or anything like that. Just rub it all over your skin after your shower. Make sure it's blended in everywhere and then you just pat your skin dry with a towel like normal and it doesn't get on anything. It's very uh, gradual build and I really, really like this. I don't really have the courage to try to just use like a self tanner and I know sometimes they can be a little bit expensive so I've really been liking this as an alternative. It's like seven or eight dollars at Walmart. It's really affordable and subtle and really pretty. I really enjoy this. Okay guys, so we're almost done, but I just want to talk about a couple more things that are kind of random. I just wanted to mention these shoes that I've been loving. These are literally just like Nike um, running shoes. These are the gray and white Nike Airs, and I don't know, I just, I love having shoes like this that you can wear to go running, or you can wear like with a cute outfit. Like these days, everyone's wearing like tennis shoes with like, you know, a stylish, trendy outfit, and I think it looks really cool, and I really love how it looks. I love that these have this like extra clear insole here. I love these. They make me feel a little bit like taller. I don't know. I just really enjoy these. They're super comfortable and they look really good and yeah, I really like these shoes. So I just wanted to give a quick mention to those. And then most people don't do this in their favorites videos, but I saw Melissa Alator doing this in some of her favorites videos where she mentions like TV shows or music or that kind of thing. For music, I've really been loving the new Shawn Mendes album. Um, it's good. It's got a lot of really catchy music on it. I've been listening to that one kind of like on repeat. Also, this isn't just like a Dune favorite, but I love Canyon City. Um, go look up Canyon City on iTunes or YouTube or wherever and listen to some of their music. If you like more like kind of relaxing, chill vibes kind of music, like I listen to that music when I'm like kind of relaxing or trying to go to sleep or just not really trying to get like a lot of energy up because it is more like calming and relaxing but it's so good. Like they just have the most like relaxing, beautiful music. Like it's so beautiful. So I really love Canyon City. Other than that, um, if I'm like trying to relax or something, I'll listen to some worship music, Bethel or something like that and yeah that's kind of it for music I just thought it'd be cool to mention some of the things like that that I've been loving because I'm always interested in knowing what other people's favorites are in that department it looks like that's gonna wrap it up so yeah those are kind of like all my June favorites if you heard me talk about anything that you would love to try let me know in the comments down below give me any suggestions for like future videos that you want to see I really appreciate you guys so much please like this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already I would really appreciate it that means so much to me when you guys subscribe and if you want to get notifications when I upload, you can go ahead and hit the little notification bell right beside that. I know it is difficult lately with YouTube's kind of algorithm to have everybody's videos come up in your subscription box, which is annoying. So if you do want to get notified, then you can hit that notification bell. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, have an awesome week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. It's so annoying when you're filming a video and the lighting just leaves. Like, it just it separates from you and it's gone and like there's no coming back you know it's difficult